Hi everybody, it's Amy from Magic and Light Collection. You can find all of our products at www.magicandlightcollection.com. So I'm going to be working with the Estate Collection today, and I'm working in Photoshop CS6. And Photoshop Elements users, your process will be exactly the same. So I have this image, and I have gone ahead and run all-in-one exterior shot on it. We can take a look at what it looked like before. This is the before straight of the camera image, and this is after all-in-one exterior shot. In the last tutorial I did, I showed you all-in-one exterior shot layer by layer. The only thing different I did in this image is I selected the bleach layer and I duplicated the layer by right-clicking and choosing duplicate, duplicate layer. This gave me a little bit of extra brightness in the trim that I wanted. So really I want to show you how to place clouds into your image. I've given you three cloud overlays and so you can choose which one fits your image. I tried to give you a sunny scenario, a thunder scenario um, to get you started. So this was a rainy day and the image really shows it. I don't think there's any way to make it look sunny without using special effects that generally would not be acceptable for real estate photography. So what I'm going to do with my image open is I'm going to go to File, Place, and I'm going to navigate to wherever I am storing my cloud overlays. The You will receive these overlays in your zip file, so be sure that you store those in a place that you'll remember. So for this image, I'm going to select Thunderheads, and it's going to place it on the image. I'm going to click the check mark to put it on there. Now, as you can see, this is definitely not going to work. So I'm going to use the Move tool to move the clouds just over the horizon where I can see the sky, so right about there. Now, the sky is totally blown out in this image, and so this next technique is going to be acceptable for this image. This, is, this does not always work, but it works 90% of the time. So what I'm going to do is, selecting Thunderhead's layer, I'm going to go to my blending modes and choose darker color. This is going to place the cloud overlay behind any colors that are darker than it. So I'm going to choose darker color and you can see that it replaced the sky pretty nicely. You can see though that there are some remnants here clinging to the house. We'll need to go ahead and get rid of those. You can either erase it with the eraser tool. You can create a layer mask. I'm just going to erase it because that's easier and Photoshop Elements users, you guys will use the eraser tool just like this. So I'm going to choose the eraser tool here on 100% opacity. Now you can see there's a little um, circle with a line through it. This is because it needs to rasterize the smart object and so I'm just going to click, it'll give you this error message, press OK. I'm just going to take off any little clouds that I see hanging out. Then I'm just going to click the Thunderheads on and off to be sure that I don't see any little pieces hanging around. I see a little bit right here. Now the reason this technique works by putting it on darker color is because the sky is totally blown out. If the sky was blue, it would not work because this overlay is not darker than blue. And so the blue would show through and it would not look good. There's another technique for that though that I'll show you in another tutorial. So we can see before we put the thunderheads in there and after. It's a big difference. And actually, I see just a little bit of clouds hanging out right there. Okay, that looks good. 
So I'm going to drag this layer to the top and see what that looks like. I think I actually liked it down lower, but probably higher than bleach. So you can just drag it around and see where it looks best to you. I think that it probably looks best right here for me. And now that I've moved it, I can see some more clouds still on the house. Like I say in just about every tutorial, I could be much more careful with this than I am, but we have to be fairly quick. So let's just take a look at this image before I ran exterior shot and put the clouds in. This is the before and this is the after. It's much better. So I hope you found this helpful and you can find all of our products at www.magicandlightcollection.com.